This is Solomon. I want to welcome you to your weekly reading for February the 13th to the 19th of 2017. All right. So let's see what we have here. So until February the 18th, the sun will be in Aquarius and that's activating your second house of money and possessions around what you own, what you'd like to acquire, and your income and financial prospects. All right. And Venus will be in Mars until the 3rd of uh, March of 2017, and that's activating your fourth house of home and family. So a lot of energies around your home uh, and visits from others uh, who wants to possibly give you a lot of company, okay? And I did have a card, and I'm going to get that card. I'm going to get that card for you in a second. It just almost tried to pop out. Sagittarius just had the same card as well. So I'm going to do the energy for you for uh, February 13th to the 19th, 2017. Okay. Monday and Tuesday. Whoa. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Okay. So, interesting. And then Friday to Sunday. Okay. Let's see. The card that I had for you was um, right here. The sun is in reverse. Uh, and this is uh, bring about some kind of sadness, uh, depression. This could be mild or severe. Uh, this could be the loss of someone. Um, sometimes you're thinking about if you're separated from someone, if you're just depressed about certain things that are going on with you, um, things that you want to change, but you don't feel that you can change them. But I do feel like there's some kind of sadness that may be uh, going on. It could be with the child. Uh, it could be dealing with the Leo. Um, you could just be feeling a bit down uh, this week. That's possible for some of you. Everybody won't be feeling the same kind of ways, all right? So uh, let's see what this energy uh, is about as well. So Monday and Tuesday, we do have the moon in Virgo bringing out your ninth house of spirituality, mental exploration, higher learning, long distance travel. Uh, can sometimes notice yourself diving into learning more about spiritual subjects and expressing your thoughts and uh, being a bit more... Um, outwardly expressive about your spiritual experiences all right so so Monday or Tuesday we do have okay it's it looks like a possible breakup here that's going on between you and another person this fire sign keeps popping out for a lot of you who has been dealing with this person for some time they continuously pop out um it doesn't have to be a fire sign it could be any other sign but I feel like you're having issues with letting someone go letting certain things go and this breakup is causing you maybe this person is coming to your life or you have come into this other person's life again and the um this could be aries leo or sagittarius someone who lies someone who's not very kind at times other times you can just see this person in that way they don't have to be that way but something is causing you to want to kind of leave the partnership or get away from it and sometimes this is not necessarily you wanting to leave but the other person is wanting to go and this is some possibly some kind of communication that you're having with them thoughts of some kind of hurt and pain that you had in conjunction with this person maybe there were three people involved in a situation one uh two three here and you know this constantly overthinking not being able to sleep a restless energy um you know wanting to communicate wanting to say certain things and not really being able to or not sure that you really want to because you will feel that if you say something, you may open up Pandora's box or something it may happen in that way. Some kind of gossip or something may go on. And you do have the four swords, which shows me that there's a lack of resting. So it's like you want to say something, but slowly you're like this. I don't even want to be 
around or associate with this person anymore. You know, that kind of situation, the thing, because you're angry possibly with this uh, this fire sign individual. Okay, so those are some energies that you may experience Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, we do have the moon in Libra bringing out your 10th house of career, public status, career, and goals, new opportunities, um, activities within your community by providing talents and outward expression. So you do have the six of wands, all right? You have the seven of wands, and then you have the eight of cups. So this looks also like, I forgot who had this. Uh, I think Scorpio had something like this, all right? Um, so you have the six of wands here, which is about... Um, good energy of victory sometimes it's a leading charge you know being very confident uh self-assured um having the ability to lead okay in a certain situation to be someone who practices what they preach you're getting a lot of um acclaim is coming your way a lot of attention coming your way from career um, whether it's hard work in your relationship, maybe you're going out with your partner celebrating and things like that. But there's also some things where you may say if you are on your, say if you're on the high horse in a way, not in a bad way, but if you're sitting up there and receive a lot of attention, maybe uh, there's some jealousy going around of uh, that victory and some kind of thing. So you may need to kind of defend yourself in a certain situation or from someone um, while you're working and getting things done, you still may be having some things on your mind as well about your relationships or friendships or whatever it is. But eventually, I feel after this energy right here, you'll kind of move on uh, to new territory emotionally, just getting away from the situation after dealing with, you know, this kind of energy of that the sun in reverse and whoever this person may be and this energy right here, you know, emotionally just kind of moving on uh, from something you know and taking this a spiritual approach in the best way that you can with that maybe that ninth house um activated monday and tuesday then it gets into more of the career and goal oriented kind of thinking and that is uh wednesday and thursday okay so friday through sunday we do have the moon in scorpio and the moon in sagittarius so on friday and saturday the moon is going to be a scorpio bringing out your 11th house of friendships, social events, hopes and dreams around friendships as well, and the ability to work well with others, you know, expressing yourself um, in an individualistic kind of way here. So we have, we have the Fool as a major arcana, we have the um, Ace of Swords in reverse, and then we have the King of Cups. So this is, uh, the King of Cups is someone who's very sensitive, nurturing, caring, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Someone who is intuitive. This could be your energy as well, where you're focused on the home environment, or if this is someone new in your life, you're focused on them. And maybe um, this person or someone else is not giving you the uh, communication that you desire, or you're not telling the truth about a certain situation. Maybe you're not telling the truth that you're actually thinking about a newer person, or that you're thinking about uh, someone new. Okay, after getting over whoever this person is right here in a reverse position, and I feel like because of this lack of communication, you're like, you know what, just f it, or you know, I don't, don't want to be <laughs> bothered with it anymore. So it's like letting go of the fear, you know, starting fresh, just kind of putting things to rest kind of uh, leaving the situation alone if you know that you want to kind of communicate and things are not happening you know no replies or the truth is not coming out and you're tired of experiencing that energy you have to let go okay you have to start over the fool is a major arcana is about freedom new beginnings being inspired to let the baggage go a necessary energy that you don't need to be holding on to so whether this is you not telling the truth and whoever this person is surrounding you it doesn't have to be a water sign, but this is another person in an upright position, so it's good energy as well. So this could be someone that you're, um, the universe is trying to place into your life to get away from whatever this other person is, someone from your past. And intuitively, I think you know what this may be about, okay? So uh, let's see what the romance angels have for you. And because that's in your 11th house, it could be friends, all right? So romance angels, energies for Capricorn, for February the 13th, 2017. Hmm. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. 
all right so that's when you are in doubt some of you may have that fear about moving into a newer relationship some of you may have a fear of whether or not someone is in love with you or has feelings for you and your if it's due to a lack of communication or a lack of you having you know you have that fear of communicating your true feelings because you don't want to expose yourself maybe you don't want to feel vulnerable or something like that the universe is telling you that it's safe so because these are general readings you have to know if this is uh, for you all right so hope that these messages resonate with your energy and situation if you would like a private reading you can always come to me via my facebook page or you can email me to set something up that's going to be directly for your energy okay so much love and much light to you